Yep, that's what we're talking about today. See you in a sec. everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are going over the build list for Nightwing uh, we got quite a extensive list a lot of stuff I already have on hand um, it's gonna be through the winter project probably in some of it to the summer too but I do have a lot of pieces parts that we are and we're gonna go kind of go through them and discuss and I'll show you what I got going on so we'll see you in a second all right, so how are y'all doing today? So today we're gonna go over the uh, build list that I have for Nightwing. It's pretty big. If you saw it at the beginning of the league, it's like 15, 20 items I have. Some of it is cosmetic. A lot of it is performance. Uh, there's still a couple things that I still need to get, and there's a lot that I already have. Now, again, this isn't gonna be an overnight build, even though if I have everything with me, I'm not going to rush it and I will take my time and I'm going to enjoy the truck. Um, we have Mustang Fest coming up here within a week or so. So I'm going to be probably more into Electra stuff, making sure she's good to go for the trip and stuff like that. So um, we're going to go ahead and break out the list and we'll go over some of the stuff and I'll show you some of the boxes I got laying around and we'll go from there. See you in a sec. Since I didn't mention them, here is Electra and Stormy. They will be making the trip down to Myrtle Beach here in about a week. So we're going to go ahead and probably take care of them next week. But for now, this is the subject at hand. So what do I have in store for this truck? What are my plans and why did I buy it to do what I'm doing to do it? So uh, let's get into those details. All right, people, so the first thing on my list is the tent. It is 15%, as you can see right there. After it's settled in pretty good, it's gotten really dark. That's one of the things that I want to always do to my cars. It's usually wheels, tires, um, tent, and stereo. But uh, I don't really need to mess with the wheels too much right now. And the tie and the stereo is decent. so. And maybe I'm getting older. I don't know. So the first thing was the tinted windows. And as you can see, they are pretty dark. And like I said, there is no performance to this. But, you know, it does add the look to the truck a little bit. And, you know, Nightwing needs to stand out from the regular STs around here. So that is the first thing on the list. The next thing on my list was the sway bar truck tower brace and the lowering springs by Steeda. It's their ultimate lowering kit, um, ultimate handling package, excuse me. And uh, it brought all that together as one thing and it was on sale when I bought it. So it wasn't a bad deal. Um, lowering springs are right there. I'll tell you about those tools here in a minute because you acquire tools as you need things, right? And then the sway bar and strut tower brace is there. I don't know if I want to use the strut tower brace. I might take the one that's on the truck now and color match it. So I'm not too sure what I'm doing with that yet. Or I might just leave it black. But yep, that is that part. And just to let y'all know, I'm not breaking everything out of the boxes yet because I'm not ready for them. But that's what they are. Um, and like I said, it is what it is. Um, so like I said, I, I opened it to make sure I got what I got, but putting it in and out all the time. You know, that ain't gonna happen. So, we'll move on to the next thing. All right, the next thing I am putting on here, which is more so of a convenience thing, more so than a performance thing, is hood struts. They should be here shortly. 
Um, I actually went with a different brand than I normally do. I usually buy the red lines for this and I didn't want to drill into the hood because those are pot riveted. So I didn't go with that brand. And I think there was another brand, uh, MR, M something MR, but I, I can't, I'll tell you who it is later. Um, and I didn't like those because those use the actual frame here to wedge under and to bring out. And if you had a Mustang and if you tried that before, um, it is not the most sturdy. It's kind of flimsy. So I didn't like that either. So I was going around shopping and I saw a set on Amazon. God forgive me, I understand. But you know, we're gonna try something a little different. I like the way that they show that they convert over. They're like the Mustang ones. They um, have a bracket that goes here. And then you pop this out. Then over here, right here, you leave that out and the pin comes out of here, out of the hole. And then you pop it back in and it just goes from here to here. Um, like I said, there'll be a different video for that. Uh, hopefully I get that in and we'll go ahead and get that put on because like I said hood struts are the way to go I don't know why Ford is so freaking cheap. They don't ever put that stuff on these cars It should be a given by this time, you know, we're paying sixty thousand dollars sixty six thousand dollars for a truck And you still got to freaking hold the hood up with the hood prop. Come on Ford, do better All right, the next thing I got is the AWR differential mount now it's right here in this box and that will be an upcoming video also um the reason for that is i've heard i need to find out why ford did what they did because there used to be a two bolt which is actually a four bolt and now they're using a three bolt which is a, a, a one bolt which is now a three bolt i know it gets confusing on the dif differential and trans so what's been happening is Ford did a recall on the Explorers and what they do is it, as soon as you put the car in park it automatically goes into the parking brake. No matter what, as long as you put it in park it's going to automatically go on that parking brake. So that's because the car would roll a little bit and it would shear that bolt and break it. And then your diff would go bloop and you would have issues, right? So supposedly with the AWR, it adds that added support to it. It's beefy. Um, so hopefully we won't have any of those issues. And again, the reason why I'm doing this ahead of time. So if you're daily driving it, you probably don't need it, but I'm planning on doing some track time with this on other things going on also. So I want to make sure I cover my bases a little bit and might as well, if I'm going to build it, I'm going to build it right. So that's what we got next okay so what is next is the whipple intercooler now from what i've been reading and seeing this is a must-have just for the fact that these trucks get heat soaked so fast that you need something to keep them cool now that video is coming down the road because there's supporting mods that i have with that so everything's gonna get done kind of the same thing. The good thing about the Whipple, let me show you what the box is here. Um, you could put it on without a tune. So you don't need to tune your car to have this on there. But again, I am doing some supported mods. So a tune is coming for this, but it's not necessary and other videos and other people that i've seen that have had this on there drops their temperature quickly and they could do more runs the heat soaking isn't there and it helps on your time because with turbos and heat it kind of kills your car so this helps prevent that a little bit so whipple intercooler is coming okay the next one is not a fan favorite i understand i get it man people are crazy about it so what i did and it's because i am 5'5 five five, my wife is 5'2 my children aren't much taller so we went ahead and got the running boards for it i like this style 
Now, the problem I may have is when I put the steel and lowering springs on it, how much lower it's gonna go. So as of right now, this is what the look is. It looks good to me. Uh, I like the contrast with the black and hey, it works and it's functional. So that's why these are on there. I had them on my other Explorer and they did great. And these still look fine. Like I said, it, people go, well, why'd you do it? And you know, it's, it's a family car. Well, you know what? It is a family car, right? But it's gonna be a nice family car and it's gonna be done the way I want to do it. So not to be snooty about it, but it's kind of, I like what I like and it's functional for me. So that's why it's on there. So, all right, for the next thing we had to come out to the tool shed and uh, kind of go out here and take a look and see what we have up in here hiding. So right now I have my Borla exhaust. It's a Borla attacks with the black chrome tips. So I think that's going to look really nice. And I have my uh, AFE uh, cold air intake, which is also, I think it's going to add a little extra to it. Like I said, with the right tune, you could probably get a couple horsepower out of it, but it's more so for getting the air flowing through the filters and you know, you know the deal with these things. So y'all aren't new to this. So I'm getting locked out. Hold on. And then, uh, you can see, I still have my tire collection and everything else going on here with Electra and the other cars. But yeah, Borla exhaust, AFE cold air intake. That is the next one and the last one on my list, but I'm not coming back out here. So that's what you get to see. And while I'm walking around, I was just uh, showing you the crib, the deck that I put up a couple years ago, gazebo. There is Prometheus. There is Stormy and Electra. Yo, MTV Chris, come see me. Just joking, it ain't that exciting. See you inside. All right, everyone, so now I am headed upstairs to show you the next thing. This is my little girl. She is freaking nuts. Cookier than a cracker right here. I'm gonna get you. Oh, yeah, go girl. <laughs> so anyway, we're heading on upstairs and We'll catch you up there real quick. And for y'all that haven't seen my PC setup, there it is. Anyway, what I came up here to show y'all is the tuner that I got. I am rocking an RTD Plus for the Explorer. Learning this. Um, usually run SET. And that's always what I ran before. But Lun sent me this because SET went out for them and my car still tuned through Lun. So the good thing about these and, and credits, you can put pretty much an unlimited amount of cars on here. All you gotta do is buy the credits for them. Okay, as I was saying, you could pretty much have as many cars as you could put on here off this tuner um you do everything by credits um the explorer takes four the mustang takes two um i could pretty much tune every car with this and just pay for the credits and the tune and we'll be good because it saves on here it saves in the cloud you can save it on your laptop there's many different ways you can use this uh I, like again i'm still learning it um, I sent them my stock file, them being who's tuning my car. I'll get into that on the next one. And uh, like I said, we'll see how this all works out. Like I said, it's new to me. It's fairly simple. Um, they use the cloud-based stuff now. So, you know, you get, put your stock file on this, send it up. It goes through your phone. Boom, it goes out in space, comes back. They, when they get the tune, they revise it, look at what they need to do send it back to you your phone beeps boom you put this in your car you load it off of there and you're done so and you could do actually data logging on this also off your phone so it's kind of cool we'll see how it all works out all right since we were talking about the hp tuner and stuff like that the company that is tuning my car is zfg they're pretty popular with the explorer community 
Um, I know Palm Beach does it, Lund does it, other companies do it, but a lot of people have told me to go with ZFG. So we are gonna give them a whack. So I'm building this to possibly be, you know, 11 second car, 11 five, somewhere in there. I'm, I'm not trying to break into the tens or anything stupid with this car. Um, the first tune I'm getting should be a 91, 93 tune um, just to get that sorted out. It does do E30, E50 blends. Um, so we'll get into that probably a little later once we get everything sorted out with the build. Like I said, I wanna make sure I have everything in place before I go into that stuff. So like I said, if I could, it's running 400 horsepower, three something, whatever is doing to the wheel. I wanna have this thing at five, 525, 550 wheel horsepower. So that is my goal um, without blowing it up. <laughs> Of course because it is a lot of money that i'm playing with behind me so uh on to the next one all right the next thing i'm going to show you i already showed y'all at the beginning of another video but i put in the jlt catch can or now as they're known osc so it's still jlt to me but that is their new company brand so i got that and put on I did it myself. I do a lot of this stuff myself. Um, so we'll see how that works. And, you know, it's more so because I know what this product is supposed to do and how it functions. So I've used it in my Mustang. I've used it in my Jeep. So it does work. And the Jeep really needs it. So if y'all have a Wrangler, I would definitely get into this. Because at 1,000 miles, 1,500, this thing was full in the Jeep. So... Just, say, just saying, just saying. Okay guys, so the next thing I need for this truck, and these are the two things that I do not have, I need to get, um, is a set of down pipes and a set of mid pipes. The down pipes are through SPD, they're sold through Lethal Performance. Let me make sure I got the right, SPD, yes. So they're sold through Lethal Performance, they're about a grand, and the reason why you don't necessarily need them per se i guess with any build you know opening up the exhaust does help right but if you look at the down pipes on this car they hit like a 90 degree they're like a wall and it goes boom you know where it's not smooth the flow is probably not that good through them so i'm probably going to do that i heard that they are a pain to do um but you know, if my boy Jay is willing to uh, try it out, you know, we'll go do full exhaust on here too, front to back. So that is that part of it. I'm also looking at the mid pipe. Now the mid pipe, the reason why people are changing that out is eventually the, I guess, compression part of it starts to rattle. Um, it starts to, you know, vibrate and whatever. There's supposedly a fix where you get a bracket around it and it's supposed to shut it down, but it doesn't do that. So for 400 bucks, 450, brand new set of uh, mid pipes. So I will have from the down pipes, mid pipes to the rear, full exhaust. So not too bad, not too bad at all. So that concludes my list of uh, as of right now. Like I said, it's, it's a big list and it's a lot of stuff. And again, I got 90% of it already. It's gonna take a little while to get it all done. And again, you know, I'm doing this just for fun. You know, it's something I wanted to do. I wanted to do something different and it's gonna be different for me. So I think I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this. Uh, like I said, I'm not dumping everything into it at one point. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, spend a mint trying to get it all done in a day. Things lead into another thing. Like I said, the intercooler, the, um, the uh, cold air intake, stuff like that kind of would leave because you have to take the front end off anyway. You're going to have the intercooler off to replace the other one. So it makes it easier to get to some of the bolts for the um, intake because there's one on the very back driver's side that holds the um, tubing in 
which is a pain in the butt from what I hear. I did buy the tool that was in that red box earlier. It's like a long tool on a spring where you clamp it to it and then you can take the clamps off from outside of the car. It's kind of cool, so it kind of works out. But yeah, that is my build list. That is my 500 plus horsepower build list. And I think we can do it. Um, I need a GoFundMe for real. I really do. Because, you know, it, it, it costs a lot of money to do this to run a house, a family, kids, and, and to do this stuff for YouTube. And, and like I said, I do this for personal fun. I don't do it as a job. I wish I could, but it's too fickle for me. I'm old. I'm about to hit 50. And, you know, my life isn't as uh, easy as it used to be. I get tired a lot quicker. You know, things do whatever they do. And I do most of the work myself. I try to anyway. I do have a buddy or two that, you know, I can pay that have shops and do whatever and help me out. But for the most part, I do what I can on my own. And I think it's more the experience of doing it because it's more satisfying on a build to do it yourself, to turn your wrenches, to get in there and do what you can. Now, I am not totally a mechanically inclined person. You know, I, I figure shit out as I go. And, you know, I think that's part of the fun. Now, some people can't do that, and it's cool, and, you know, and I couldn't do it, but, you know, it, it it's worth a try anyway. So, this is what Project Nightwing is all about. This is what we're going to do, and I hope y'all come along for the ride. I want to do a shout-out to Derek, because he did put Nightwing on his channel last week. Um... I'm happy that it's getting a little bit of exposure and uh, hopefully some of his people will come watch what I'm doing to this. So in a nutshell, that is what is going on. Things will change and alter as we go along. Maybe a set of tires and rims at one point, but you know, this is what I have to do with what I have to do now. Um, like I said, it's gonna be more of a winter project. We're gonna do little things here and there to feed into it but the major stuff you know has to come when everybody's available and i can get some help and do whatnot and whatnot so hold on for a second let me close out this video we'll see you in a sec all right guys so that is project nightwing that is what i have going on you have seen my build list you have seen what i'm planning on doing what are your opinions on that what do you think should be done differently what should be done more to. Um, like I said, I am learning this. I am figuring it out as I go by doing the research. And uh, hopefully it turns out the way I want. Like I said, I do not want to kill the car. Um, it's got 300 miles on it. So I am going to be taking my time. Payment wise, don't worry about that. It's taken care of. But for the most part, I just want to have fun. I want something that I could daily drive, let it boot and scoot when it needs to, but hey, take the family and friends with me when I can. So that is the project, that is my mindset, that is where we're going with it. So leave a comment, send a friend, let's get this channel going, catch you on the next one.